Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. In this lecture, I would like to basically introduce you to a great way to drive traffic to an affiliate product or to a product as an affiliate. Now, since we've created a lot of videos in this particular course, each one of them is promoting a different affiliate program. I think it's only logical if we keep the series going and if we keep showing you how to create different videos for different products. Now, I wanted to make this update quite a long time ago, and um, now is the time for us to do it, the perfect time that is. Now, inside of the course, we have used tools such as Canva, but now I wanna show you the next level. I wanna show you how you can utilize not only voiceover AI, but a tool called CapCut, which has AI characters plus the voiceover, which basically would take the hassle of using DID and using 11 labs both. You just need to use CapCut. Personally, I have the CapCut Pro version, which basically costs me $49.99 per year because I bought the entire year. And also here's the trick. I bought it from the mobile app, not from the desktop. That's why it costs so little. And so I want you to really enjoy the process as much as I do. I love what I do and I love to teach what I do. And so in this course, I will be sharing with you this particular finding that I found that you can find particularly useful, which is the art of creating videos, or let's just call them video sales letters to promote a product as an affiliate. You can send people directly from the video to the affiliate link. Of course, I'm not gonna dive into the landing page aspect because some people like to create a landing page because they want to collect email addresses. If you want me to do that, let me know in the Q&A section or in the message section. If just two or three students tell me that, can you show us how we can create our own landing page and start collecting email addresses and do email marketing, I will be glad to show you how that's done and I know how to do it, and I can show you how to do it. But because I wanna stay consistent with the course, in this course, we focused more on creating video to drive traffic to an affiliate link. And so that's what we'll be doing for the most part. It was a pretty long introduction, but now let's get right into it. Here, I have found this product on ClickBank. This is a product, it's for joint pain. And it's selling really, really well on ClickBank, okay? so. This is the product landing page. And if people come here through your affiliate link, of course, which is this one, this is the hop link for me. If they come over here and they add a product to cart, you will make a commission from that, right? This is a secure checkout. Okay, so if they purchase all of these bottles, you will make a commission every time they purchase. How, how much, or what is the commission? It's $106.26 as the average commission. And this is the this is the uh, the product, right? So if you click, it will take you to their landing page. Now, how do we create the video? First of all, first of all, go to google.com. If you have never installed CapCut, now is the time. I want you to search for CapCut in Google. Once you search for CapCut, Search for no further than CapCut.com. Please, please do not trust any other website besides the official website, which is CapCut.com. Please, okay? Now, no Soft Sonic, no website, because there's a lot of people that have downloaded malware, and you don't want that. So CapCut.com. When you come over here to CapCut.com, you'll notice that there is this button that says download CapCut for desktop and you can download CapCut for desktop as I do. So this is my own version of CapCut on the desktop and I can show you how this works. So now let's just close that for a second. Now here, if we wanna promote this product, first of all, we need to write the script for the video, right? So I want you to go ahead and, and copy this link of the product itself, the link to the landing page, assuming you have downloaded CapCut, okay? 
And I want you to go right back here into Chat GPT, and I'm going to click on a new tab, our new chat, and I'm going to ask it, I want to promote this product as an affiliate. And that's it. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm not asking it anything. I'm just priming it. So I'm just telling it, hey, I'm an affiliate. This is what I'm going to do. This is the product I'm trying to promote. I'm not doing anything, anything else but that. Okay. Now I get into the subject. So I'm going to ask it now. Okay. Now write a script for a two minute, not, not two minute. This is a commercial. So 60 second commercial for every, every five seconds, write the voiceover that the narrator narrator must say as well as what else describe the background video for that five second scene and do this for all scenes all right so if i hit enter now what's going to happen is that it's going to generate exactly what I asked it. This is counterintuitive because it's not productive. Okay, so I'll have to go and each voiceover, I'll have to copy paste. Now, in order for you to make your job streamlined, follow exactly what I do because I'm a, now I hate to say this because I'm a pro at this. Okay, so just do what I do. And then you can use the method later on for the rest of your career. Now, I'm going to go here to the message section. Here is what I'm, here is my ask. Here's what I'm going to ask. So I'm going to click and basically just type this. Okay. I'm going to say, now take the voiceovers. Okay. Take the voiceovers and put them all in one line or one paragraph. Instead of put them, I'm going to say assemble them. Assemble them all in one paragraph. All right. And assemble all the background video descriptions in bullets. Now what it's going to do, it's going to take all the voiceover, it's going to turn it into an, a paragraph and it's going to take the background video, background video descriptions, and it's going to put them into background video descriptions. Now the background video descriptions are quite huge. So I'm going to say, take or shorten the background video descriptions to a minimum because I don't want that much, right? The voiceover, it should keep it the same, but the background videos just describe just enough for me to understand what that's all about. Fine. So now we have our voiceover. The first step is to copy the voiceover like so to head right back into CapCut. When you open CapCut for the first time, you can click on create a project, okay? And you can start a project. Now, if you have never been introduced to CapCut, don't worry, because what I'm going to do here doesn't require you to be, be basically um, introduced to it. Just follow what I do, okay? Follow what I do. So now I want you to click this text button. See this text button? Click it. Perfect. When you click that, I want you to drag this particular text button right over here. And then I want you to click on this text element. Just click it. All right? It's going to bug. It's going to lag. All right. So it's normal. And paste your text. Now, if you try to paste all this much text, if your text is, a, is huge, try to split this. All right. So I'm going to split this into two. I'm going to copy the first half or cut the first half. Okay. Cut that first part keep only introducing. And what I want you to do is go to AI characters. And here you'll notice you have some AI characters. Now, since this is about back pain and fitness, Hey, good to see you. You can see it's basically reading to me an AI character is talking, right? So, but we need to choose our voice as well as our AI characters. So here, if you scroll down enough, there's multi multiple voices. So I'm going to go ahead and shop for some voices. There's free voices and pro voices. 
I'm going to go for a, um, okay, maybe a commentary by a male. You're and using the text-to-speech text feature. This Choose one is good, okay, because life. it's a storytelling. I'm going to add, okay, allow. Now, now it's generating the speech, okay? But for the speech, we need a character to talk, a talking head. And uh, I, I, I have to tell you that CapCut really stunned me because their AI characters are out of this world. You know, it's just amazing. They look human. You know, they, they really do look human. So the point being, if someone is looking at the video, they're going to think, oh my God, this... Probably they're not going to notice that's an AI character. That's what I'm trying to say. They, they've gotten as good as a software, which is called Synthesia. The only issue with Synthesia, they don't allow you to do what I'm showing you to do. They're going to consider it as a spam. I'm just saying. Now, it's generating the speech. It's taking quite some time, I see, because it's quite a long speech. Remember, we only generated half of the speech. There is still the other half. All right, so I'm going to cancel because I think there's some kind of an issue there. First of all, now I selected the voice. Now I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to click right here. And we need to select a voice, a, 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 a let's just say character, a, a character that matches the voice. So we're going to have to go with a male character. Okay, because the voice is that of a male character. Okay, so I'm going to select this one here. Hey, and good to see as you. you can see, it looks pretty good. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that voice or add that character. And now what happened is that they have generated a character that's basically saying what I wanted to say. And we can get rid of that text. First of all, let me zoom out. Right. So this is the text. But before getting rid of it, I would like to right click on this track and I'd like to extract the audio from it so that the audio is separate. OK. And then what I can do is I can basically remove that text. And now I can take this element and drag it here in the cover. Now we're not creating a short. It's far from it. Now what I can do as well is I can move the needle right here. And I want you to do exactly what I'm doing. I want you to drag another piece of text right here. And then inside of that piece of text, I want you to put the, the second half of the script. Go to text to speech. Okay. And what we want to do is simply we want to repeat the process. So I'm going to go to AI characters, actually. I'm sorry. Go to AI characters. And here, let's go and choose the same character which we, that we have chosen. Or you can choose a different one. But I'm going to choose, a diff, uh, choose the same one because I don't want to sound like a, like a, you know. Hey, good to see you. Okay, perfect. Now let's scroll down. Select the voice. This one is the voice which we have cho I have chosen earlier. You're in your case, the text to speech feature. I'm going to add. Choose in your case, you can like. use free voices, and the free voices are basically the ones without the pro tag. Now it's applying, right? So it's 10 percent, and when it's basically 100 percent, I'm just going to extract the audio from that, so that we can have a character with a transparent background. And now our job is to go and get that particular background video to put behind the character. Now that we know that our voiceover is 41 seconds instead of 60 seconds, what is left is to just go and procure the background video that we can put in the back of that character. Now, perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the audio and I'm going to get rid of this text and I'm going to drag this and align it perfectly here. And you can zoom in from this area. And I can also take this particular audio and make sure it is exactly at the beginning here. What I can do is I can select both these audios like this and I can right click and I can not group them, but I can actually, I'm not sure if I can click a, create a compound clip. I'm just going to group. Okay, I'm just going to group them. All right, so once they're grouped, they, they're selected as one. And I'm going to increase the volume. Also, what I can do is I can enhance the voice with my pro features. But I'm going to have to do it one by one. Because even if in, in a compound clip, you have to do it one by one. Now, it's okay if the character is in the middle. I'm going to keep him like that. And he doesn't have to be that small. We can make him bigger, but it's okay. We can keep it like that. 
All right, so we have enhanced the voice for this. I'm not sure if they did it for this one as well. Yeah, it did. Okay, so now let me zoom out. And I'm going to go to the very beginning. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select these, right click. And what I want to do is create a compound clip to make them one. Okay, now let's go back to chat GPT. Remember these scene descriptions? I have a trick for you. If you go to canva.com, just follow the trick. Now, since we're not creating a short right now, we're creating a video that's not a short. But by the way, if you want to create it as a short, it's okay. Right? You can do that one as well. In this case, I'm not going to make it a short. I would like to click on Create Design, Custom Size. And here, I would like you to go for inches, make it 16 by 9 inches, and Create Design. Perfect. Okay, so now once we have done this, I want to get the ChatGPT tab close here. Now, there's a person holding InstaSooth with a smile. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and look for a, a video. Now, he's not necessarily going to be holding InstaSooth, but probably he's going to be holding uh, another supplement. So, in my element description here, I'm going to describe a person holding a supplement, right? So, person holding... Instead of InstaSooth, I'm going to say supplement, holding a supplement with a smile. And I'm going to look for it in elements. And here inside of Canva, okay, there's videos and there's people holding supplements, you know. So I can go and take, uh, for instance, you know, this particular video or this one. All right. I think I'm going to go with this one. There you go. Well, this is not a supplement, is it? It's actually something else. I think, let me scroll down, try to find something more interesting. I think this one is good. Yeah. So I'm going to set the video as background. Then I'm going to add another page. The other page has to have natural ingredients being mixed, which I can go and look for this. Natural ingredients being mixed. Natural ingredients being mixed. Well, instead of being mixed, I could just say natural ingredients. All right, let's find some natural ingredients. This is a good video here. And I can basically set the video as a background. Instead of these, I mean, I'm, I could probably look for natural herbs instead of these, you know, because... And the, voila, this, this is video, this is pretty good. I'm going to set the video to the background. Now let's go to the other one. Now here, person applying InstaSooth and showing relief. Now let's go and look for relief from back pain, relief from back pain. All right, we have a, a couple of videos here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and look for a video that represents this. It's not just back pain, it's also joint pain. I'm gonna use this one. Set the video to the background, then move on. Now we have, this one is a scene of a uh, uh, person relief. Right, back pain relief, back pain relief. Okay, and we can go for a particular video like this, for instance. Set the video to the background, and then let's go for another description. Person is to sue, da, 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 da. Okay, let's look for uh, back pain therapy. Let's look for some videos about back pain therapy. I mean, we have this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set the video to the background. And then I'm going to go right back here. So close-up of hand showing no greasy residue. Right. Uh, I don't like that. I'm probably just going to go for a scene like this. And then I'm going to go back and basically look for testimonials. Okay, let's go and look for some chiropractor. Chiropractor video. Okay, this is the one. Set to the background. Then let's go and look for um, some montage of people smiling. Okay, people smiling. People smiling. Video. Yeah. I'm going to take this one. Then I'm going to go again. 
and look for people hiking, okay? Hiking. Let's look for someone hiking. Maybe like this. Then let's look for some more. So product website with discount code. Okay. Now we could be promotional a little bit here. So I need to go back to get some things I can show. Si silence pain, 12 seconds. Okay. So I'm going to click on screen record. And I'm going to click control V to paste what I have just recorded. I'm just going to keep the, the, the top part. Just the top part. And I'm going to place it there. Then I'm going to go back into the page. And what I want is I want a, a part of the page which is, let's just say, good, like this. This one is pretty cool because it doesn't have buy now thing or doesn't push people to buy. Only shows the proof. Let me scroll down to see if I can find something even more interesting. Yeah, I think this one is good. I'm going to, this one instead. And now I'm going to place it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and drag this like this and this one over here. And from the side, I can actually put them together in one side, select both of them, crop both of them. Well, I'm going to crop each one individually. Remove that extra edge. And now it looks like we have a landing page here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, expand this as much as possible. And here... I could basically, um, all right, this is good. This is good. It's good. So now I'm going to click the plus button and then move on. Discount code, quick shots of website navigation. Da -da. Actually, this would be the last part of the video. All right. So I'll leave it as is, but I'm going to go ahead and simply place it down to the right hand side. Because I'm going to play with my character. I'm going to put him here. All right. So now let's just. Click this, make sure that I remove this excess. I could also remove the excess from here and the excess from here. And again, the excess from here and the excess from here. And I could then now take this and place it here, which is perfect. And here is my, where my character goes. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here in between the, trans the scenes, click on add transition, click dissolve, apply between all pages. Now my video is two minutes now, so I need to make sure my video is only 41 seconds. So I'm going to take these scenes, go to the playback option, increase the video speed for each one of them. Each one of them. Actually double the video speed. So while doubling the video speed, right, double and double. And finally we have this one double now you can see it's one minute still so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to cut some scenes cut part of some scenes so for example this one i can cut some part of it i can take this one for example and cut a little bit i can also take this one see if i can cut some part i can take this one for instance this one is pretty big so i'm going to cut a big chunk of it and we have this one, for instance, five seconds. There's nothing to cut. This one, on the other hand, should be cut more. This one here, also, there's not no reason to show a lot of blending and herbs. And then here, this one is quite long, so let's cut it. I only show enough. Now that's 43, so still, it's not it's not entirely uh what we're looking for which is 40 42 i'm gonna make it 42 i think now it's good so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say scene for supplement and i would like to download this right now right here as a video as an mp4 so if i click download i could download this as a 4k quality video and i could download now what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna wait for the video to be downloaded and what we're going to do is we're going to place this video here in this place because any video that's for example in CapCut here's how it works in all editors if the video that's on top 
that's the video that's going to show on top. If I put this per this video here and the scenes on top of it, what's going to happen is that we're not going to see our character because the video that's on top is the one that takes the priority. So we have to put this one on top. And since there is a, a, a transparent background, if I put something here, it's going to look like this guy is the main character. Okay. Now we can, we can listen to this, by the way. Also the ratio, let me make sure it's 16 by 9 inches. Let me zoom in. Let's watch. Introducing InstaSoothe, your natural solution for pain relief. Made with 100% natural ingredients, fast-acting formula for quick relief. Effective on muscle pain, joint aches, and more. Easy to use, anytime, anywhere. No greasy residue, just pure comfort. Trusted by professionals. Join the thousands. You can see here I have a slight mistake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically ungroup. This audio is not the same as the other. So I'm going to have to basically go to the... Well, I should have done it from the beginning. So now I think it's too late. Uh, but it's okay. We can keep that audio. All right. It's not a big deal. But normally you have to have one audio voiceover character. Now our scene has been downloaded, which is good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, move the needle to the beginning, click on import, click import again, and import your scene. So this is our scene. Now it's imported. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my scene here in the middle. And as you can see, it's going to look like the guy is the presenter, right? So, and here at the end, you can see that this is not quite the same size. So how do we solve this? We can click on this, right? We can go to speed. And here you can change the length instead of 42, you can make it 41, 41. And you can see that right now it's going to reduce and we can zoom in. We can get rid of that extra chunk by cropping it and zoom out. So now the only part that I need to edit is this part where we show the product. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the needle for where it starts, which is here. And I would like to click on this scene that's on top, click cut, cut, and now move here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my character slightly here. And I could even scale him quite bigger like this. And pretty much for the other parts, there's not really a need to do much of anything else, right? You can see that that's quite good. Now I can go to transitions to ensure there is a transition when he grows bigger. So that's what I'm going to do right, right here, right now. All right. So I'm going to basically go and use a shake transition or pull in. The pull in is better. And notice what's going to happen if I play the scene here. Soothe.com today. Insta it's going to look really good. Natural. So as you can see, that's pretty good. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the beginning of the scene and I would like you to click on captions and click generate and choose the language. This is in English, so I'm going to change, put it as English language. And my goal, my purpose is to simply uh, basically put a English caption that says uh, that that says what the, the person is, is saying. Right. So we need to caption the video right right until this part. We're going to delete the captions for the rest of the video, only for the first couple of seconds. But for the last part, when he's talking about the product, we're going to leave just, we're going to remove the caption. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Also, we can add a background music. Now, here is what I'm talking about. So the caption has been added, but as you can see, the caption is not really attractive. So I want you to go to templates, click templates here. And inside of templates, what you can do is you can select a different type of template for the caption. Now I'm going to scroll down. There's free and pro go with whichever one appeals to you. Now I'm going to scroll down, try to get a useful caption. Okay. Let me keep scrolling, keep scrolling. All right. I think I found one that's good. This one. And so when I place this caption, it's going to be placed right here in this area. So if I move in right now, you can see that that caption is applied. And right at the end, 
here, I need to remove this part, the last one, the last caption, because I want to focus only, I want to focus the attention of the, the people on this area about the product. Now we can basically do like this, reduce the size of that caption. Now this is the video, all right? It's far from done because we need the music. So in order to add the music, we need to go to Google and look for a piece of music. So let's look for a calming music, you know, calming mountain music Pixabay. And this is the stuff that people run ads with. So you can start using these videos, running ads, and in your video, you can link to either a landing page that you build or a uh, direct ClickBank page. Now, this is the mountain path. Let me click. This is a good music, so I'm going to download it, okay? Now, once I've downloaded that music, I can incorporate it to my video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to import. Click again on import. And basically, I would like to click the, the, the music video and place it right here. So I'm going to drag my music video right here. And then at the end, I'm going to move the cursor. And I would like to click on the music crop from here, split, and remove the excess by clicking it and clicking enter. And then I want you to click on the music, click basic, reduce the music size or the music's audio volume and fade out at the end. And now here's what we have, an entire promotion of a supplement. Now I can watch it here, but the problem is that it's, it's, uh, there is a, there's a gap between the sound and the audio when I'm using Camtasia in combination with CapCut and some kind of a weird problem happens, but Let's just play it anyways. Introducing InstaSoothe, your natural solution for pain relief. Made with 100% natural ingredients, fast-acting formula. I think that we need to go ahead and uh, actually uh, do it differently. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to export the video first, and then we'll watch it in the next video. So stay tuned for the next video since we're going to go and visualize what we have created. Hopefully you've liked this uh, video here, this tutorial. If you found it useful, and let's say you want us you want us to show you how you can build a, a landing page using uh, Google Sites or something like this, then you're welcome to let us know. I can also sh even show you how to build your entire landing page using uh, 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 using a AI builder if you request that. Uh, just as as long as you are still interested and still taking the course, that's what we're looking for is for you to keep learning. Also, let us know what programs you'd like to promote, what ways you think you want us to show you how to promote products. Stay tuned for the next video.